Welcome back to Computex 2019 and I am here at the ASRock booth where they have a heap of new motherboards on display and for X570 it's actually 10 new boards in total so today we're going to try and get through these as best as possible and these are the boards that are going to be supporting those new ryzen 3000 chips which we saw that three of them were announced but five of them were actually listed so that's the six cores the eight cores and the 12 core cpus from amd these are the boards that will hopefully be the ones to pick but let's go through them all and give you guys the details So going from the list top to bottom, we first off have the X570 Aqua with that option for water coolers who need the water block installed. Now we're talking 12 plus two phases in total for 14 direct phases for these CPUs. This one also features Thunderbolt, and that's right, Thunderbolt 3 and 10G Aquantia LAN as well as having two Gen 4x4 slots there for NVMe. So this thing is absolutely packed. It's the top of the line flagship board. But one thing that does trend through with some of these boards is that that Dr. Moss 14 phase design is going to be in some of the higher end boards. So even though the Aqua itself is gonna to be top of the line, it's still gonna feature the same VRM that is powering, for example, the X570 Creator, which is their next board, which has, again, the 12 plus two phase power design, but it doesn't have water cooling. But this one actually has two Thunderbolt ports on it, as well as a 10 gig LAN solution on board. So I guess this one actually is geared up towards creators. That's no joke. Next up here is the third board in line, and this is the Phantom Gaming X, and actually my personal favorite in terms of its looks. I think it looks phenomenal. Massive heatsink over the uh, actual chipset hub itself, as well as having a 12 plus two phase power design. Dr. Moss Direct Phases. This one has triple gen 4x4 NVMe. It also has the Realtek 2.5G LAN solution as well as having Wi-Fi 11AX. So that's currently the best Wi-Fi solution you can get on a motherboard that is included. They also have integrated IO shields all the way down to the Extreme 4. And this is a flex design that ASRock is implementing. So in the case of some integrated IO shields from the competitors, for example, you can have a little bit of trouble if the actual IO shield cutout doesn't match since it is a fixed solution. This one, on the other hand, on all these X570 boards has some flex in it. So that is a good thing to see. But next up in the line is the X570 Tai Chi, which again has that same high-end VRM, but it's essentially going away with no fancy LAN solutions. You've just got the one gigabit per second LAN solution, three gen 4x4 NVMe slots, but as well as a Wi-Fi solution included, which is the 11AX Wi-Fi solution. Then moving on, we have the Extreme 4, which is a very popular choice back in the day, especially in the Z77 days for being that value king. It seems like they're keeping the Extreme 4 as their value king, but going with a blue carbon and black theme here, actually quite interesting, as well as having an 8 plus 2 Dr. Moss direct phases on the VRM, so 10 phases in total, uh, cutting away four phases versus the higher end models, but it also has a Type C, so they're not going with Thunderbolt on this model. Only the top two X570 boards will have that Thunderbolt delivery. But next in the stack is the X570 Steel Legend, having the same VRM as the Extreme Force, sort of that mid-range VRM, integrated IO shield, RGB, dual heat sinks on PCIe 4x4 NVMEs. And then moving down on the stack, we have the X570 Pro 4 and the Pro 4M. I am told these are entry level boards. So don't expect any 16 cores uh, overclocking at 10 gigahertz, for example, as well as having two Oz copper PCB used throughout all the boards. So they are making sure that they're still sticking with quality. And even though this board isn't gonna be the best overclocker, it still has 48 amp chokes, as well as an eight plus two phase power design on the VRM delivery. Then last but certainly not least, I've saved this special till last. This is the ITX version, the Phantom Gaming ITX X570. They've already got something in the works before the Ryzen 3000 chips are out. And the special thing about this board is it features Thunderbolt on board, as well as having an LGA cooler mounting system in place which I didn't think was possible, but ASRock have done it with the 1151 cooler mounting system. You can put it on this ITX board. That essentially enables for more cooling options. Now for the VRM, they've got 10 phases in total, eight plus two design here, direct phases, Dr. Moss design, just like those other boards that we saw here on display. And I am told this board will be able to support a 16 core absolutely fine. Now in terms of demos and showing you guys actual performance of the chips themselves, I was told that ASRock were only told that they could show the actual PC 
PCA NVMe Gen 4 speeds. And so they had something on display here and the speeds were absolutely monstrous. If you guys didn't know, PCA Gen 4 offers double the speeds of PCA Gen 3. But another important thing to point out on that note is that every single chipset heatsink on these X570 boards has a active fan. So basically that PCIe Gen 4, I believe it is putting out enough heat to warrant the requirement of a fan on board. So with that, you may see some higher idling power consumption on X570, but I won't exactly know until I get a hands-on for you guys July 7th. And as I said in the intro, we don't know about the exact release dates of these motherboards, nor the pricing as they can't give that information out just yet. But I am told that it should be released before July 7th. So you will be able to get your motherboard before you get your Ryzen 3000 CPU. Anyway guys, that's it for the X570 motherboards on display here at the ASRock booth for Computex 2019. If you guys enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. Hit that like button for us. Also, if you want to see these videos the moment they drop, sub button, ring the bell, and they'll be delivered to your sub box the moment they drop. And with that aside, I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. But also on that note, let us know what you think about these boards, the designs. I think they look super cool. ASRock's definitely picking up their game when it comes to getting the aesthetics right, as well as getting the delivery of everything someone would want in different lineups. For instance, that Tai Chi for those people who just want to overclock has that VRM ready to go. Anyway guys, peace out for now. Bye.